A military soldier went on a shooting rampage earlier uh, this afternoon at a Thailand uh, shopping mall known as Terminal 21. He apparently shot his superior commander and some others at the uh, military base. Before stealing a military vehicle and making his way to the shopping mall where he commenced his rampage. Sergeant Major Jokerpanth Toma made some uh, hellacious rants on Facebook before the rampage began, saying something about death is inevitable for everyone, talking about revenge and supposedly his motive, getting rich from corruption and taking advantage of other people. Do they think they can bring money with them to spend in hell? Now, honestly speaking, I really don't think that that in and of itself is the real motive. I think there's something else going on there with him being in the military. Who knows? Possibly, maybe he was a mind control victim or maybe he was on some kind of psychotropic drugs. Who knows? I don't know uh, whether this is a false flag or not. I not cannot tell you as of this moment. But anytime we have a mass shooting of this nature... We can't leave uh, anything out of the question. But according to the Daily Star, he uh, live streamed his uh, attack, even posting comments and selfies in one post saying, I'm tired now. I can't move my finger anymore. And another comment, so tired and dead? Is that three people? Should I give up? The soldier... Um, was said to have initially gone to a house where he was supposed to be meeting officials to settle a land dispute when he killed his army commander and a woman. He went to the weapon store at the uh, Surathan Pithok military base, took several guns and rounds of ammo, then started shooting colleagues. And then that's when he uh, hopped in the military vehicle and went to the mall. Well, like I said, who knows what was really going on with this individual uh, during his service in the military there, of course. So whatever, something that made him snap, whether voluntarily or involuntarily. So many times, truth is stranger than fiction. And of course, things aren't always at what they seem to be. The soldier apparently is still at large. It seems as if he is still holed up somewhere inside the uh, shopping mall. And there has been volleys of gunfire. I guess the um, military sent, even sent in a, a drone to try to figure out his whereabouts. And it is believed there are, he is certain, currently um, holding hostages. It's also being reported that at least 31 people have been wounded, with 10 people in critical condition, according to the uh, health ministry. Going back to the land dispute thing, like I said, he was supposed to be meeting officials to settle a land dispute at a house so i don't know exactly what that really means i don't know if um i mean i don't know what the laws are in thailand in that regard maybe i don't know if he wasn't paying his taxes or who knows property tax or who knows what maybe something else was going on with that that could very well could be a um uh, have a lot to do with this of course but like i said who knows what's really going on but like i said this is still a developing situation and who knows how this may end up uh, turning out. Hopefully no more uh, people will end up dead. And who knows what's going to happen to the uh, the soldier. I don't know if he's going to show up dead somewhere. Or be a suicided or, or who knows what. So uh, just keep these folks in your prayers.